much do you feel like in 06 when Greenies got banned, that made an impact on the game? You know, I I just I I, I never I never really got into those. Um, I wish I would have done the steroids now because <laughs> I probably would have had a better body and who knows what the hell would have happened. But uh, you know, it, it to me it it was it's it's competition and and I don't care if you're on it or you're not. You know, I've been I've been plagued by it by other by losing games from guys that normally don't hit a home run off you to to doing that or fisting one in. But, uh, you know, the greenies weren't really, you know, to me, it was, there were so many day games back then. And if you got, you're getting in late, I didn't ever have a problem with them. To me, you still got to play the game. Steroids, you know, is a, is a different, is a different subject because that does enhance you. That does make you stronger. And for these guys, but you know, the guys that, that were injured and if it was under a doctor's supervision, I don't think I would have a problem with it, but you know, all the guys that did it, they're lying about it saying they never did it. And you know, they did it, but it's like, what the hell? But you know, I'm a code guy. I will, I won't throw anybody under the bus. You know, you just live and learn with it. And you know, I know what I did in my career, so I'm, I'm, I'm all right with it. Not asking you to throw anybody under the bus, but you said when you start noticing balls going into the seats, what was the first time when you noticed that you were like, what? Like what yeah. year? When like how did that ball get out? How did he Well, get let out? me tell you so I think it was 89, 88 or 89, maybe 90. And uh I remember in in Texas and I think it was Ruben Sierra, uh uh Pudge, uh Julio Franco, Juan cuz all these guys, I remember the year before they were so skinny and then like a year or two later they're so big and they're just going deep. I had no clue, and, and you know, I, I, I don't know if they've ever been caught doing it, if they were on the list, but that's when you had a sense of, there's something going on here when these guys are going that far, I mean, oppo, that deep. But then all of a sudden, the whole league is doing it, you know, and, it's, and, and they didn't move the ballparks in that much back then. So you just, you know, you just had a sense of like, all right, that guy's on it. All right, well, that guy's on it. You just, you just never knew. I played against Canseco in rookie ball in 1982. That's dating myself. I mean, that dude got hula hoop and a cheerio. And then all of a sudden, like, I see him in double A, and he's, he's the Hulk, him and his brother. I was like, dang, what's going on? These guys got big. But you, you just didn't really know. I didn't know it until, like, later in my career that, that it was really an issue because guys – you know, I don't know if they really, they, I guess they hit it good. But to me, I didn't know who was doing it yet. Maybe had an inclination of who did. But to me, I, you know what? I still had to go out there and pitch. And sometimes you just, if you had an idea, you still had to go because it's a challenge. Because now this guy can go deep on you, you know, on pitches away and all that. But, you know, but then they're trying to say that the baseball is wound too tight. It's all this stuff. So. You never knew what was going on. Like I said, I pitched in the era. It didn't really bother me that the guys did it. It just sucked when you lost on a guy who was dirty. Hula hoop to a cheerio, and that's hilarious. That. <laughs> that made me laugh. That's a good line. That made me that's, laugh. That's hilarious. Um, as you, you were a, a seven, eight year vet at the time, probably a nine year vet at the time of the strike, and you obviously played in during the steroid era. Did steroids and the home run because that's what's followed with it did that right. save baseball because you know you would know before and after those and since me i was just a little pea green trying to watch you guys no i mean the strike was you know nobody wanted to strike because i lost a lot of money during that strike actually i went through like three or four of them damn things but uh you know they were trying to i i remember i think it was 94 or whatever and they were we were going through all the meetings and, you know, we needed guys to speak up. We needed baseball. We were losing the fans. So I remember them going to Cal Ripken and, you know, trying to get some of these, these impact guys to try to help the game of baseball come back because we didn't want to lose the fans. You know, that was one thing. And then, you know, everyone's saying that we're greedy. We're making too much money. Well, flip that right now and see how much these guys are making and then talk to me about who's greedy. But these guys are greedy. Make as much as you can for as long as you can. 
But, you know, you still had, you never knew when it was going to end. But, you know, that, that was just the life that we led back then. So to me, you know, with, with the, uh, the steroids, they wanted more offense. They got it. Uh, but the strikes, you know, they just kept coming. And then the collective bargaining agreements, all this kind of stuff. So, you know, it was just the owners against the players. And, you know, it was just it was one of those big old clusters that you just didn't want to be involved with. But it happened. 